Deuteronomy 17. You shall not sacrifice to Yahweh your God an ox or a sheep in which is a defect or anything evil, for that is an abomination to Yahweh your God. If there is found among you, within any of your gates which Yahweh your God gives you, a man or a woman who does that which is evil in Yahweh your God's sight in transgressing his covenant, and has gone and served other gods and worshipped them, or the sun, or the moon, or any of the stars of the sky, which I have not commanded, and you are told, and you have heard of it, then you shall inquire diligently. Behold, if it is true, and the thing is certain, that such abomination is done in Israel, then you shall bring out that man or that woman who has done this evil thing to your gates, even that same man or woman, and you shall stone them to death with stones. At the mouth of two witnesses, or three witnesses, he who is to die shall be put to death. At the mouth of one witness, he shall not be put to death. The hands of the witnesses shall be first on him to put him to death, and afterwards the hands of all the people. So you shall remove the evil from among you. If there arises a matter too hard for you in judgment, between blood and blood, between plea and plea, and between stroke and stroke, being matters of controversy within your gates, then you shall arise, and go up to the place which Yahweh your God chooses. You shall come to the priests who are Levites, and to the judge who shall be in those days. You shall inquire, and they shall give you the verdict. You shall do according to the decisions of the verdict, which they shall give you from that place which Yahweh chooses. You shall observe to do according to all that they shall teach you, according to the decisions of the law which they shall teach you, and according to the judgment which they shall tell you, you shall do. You shall not turn away from the sentence which they announce to you, to the right hand nor to the left. The man who does presumptuously and not listening to the priest who stands to minister there before Yahweh your God, or to the judge, even that man shall die. You shall put away the evil from Israel. All the people shall hear and fear, and do no more presumptuously. When you have come to the land which Yahweh your God gives you, and possess it and dwell in it, and say, I will set a king over me, like all the nations that are around me. You shall surely set him whom Yahweh your God chooses as king over yourselves. You shall set as king over you one from among your brothers. You may not put a foreigner over you who is not your brother. Only he shall not multiply horses to himself, nor cause the people to return to Egypt to the end that he may multiply horses. Because Yahweh has said to you, You shall not go back that way again. He shall not multiply wives to himself, that his heart not turn away. He shall not greatly multiply to himself silver and gold. It shall be, when he sits on the throne of his kingdom, that he shall write himself a copy of this law in a book, out of that which is before the Levitical priests. It shall be with him, and he shall read from it all the days of his life, that he may learn to fear Yahweh his God, to keep all the words of this law and these statutes, to do them that his heart not be lifted up above his brothers, and that he not turn away from the commandment to the right hand or to the left, to the end that he may prolong his days in his kingdom, he and his children, in the middle of Israel. Deuteronomy 18 The priests and the Levites, all the tribe of Levi, shall have no portion nor inheritance with Israel. They shall eat the offerings of Yahweh made by fire and his portion, they shall have no inheritance among their brothers. Yahweh is their inheritance, and he has spoken to them. This shall be the priests due from the people, from those who offer a sacrifice, whether it be ox or sheep, that they shall give to the priest, the shoulder, the two cheeks, and the inner parts. You shall give him the first fruits of your grain, of your new wine, and of your oil, and the first of the fleece of your sheep. For Yahweh your God has chosen him out of all your tribes to stand to minister in Yahweh's name, him and his sons forever. If a Levite comes from any of your gates out of all Israel where he lives, and comes with all the desire of his soul to the place which Yahweh shall choose, then he shall minister in the name of Yahweh his God, as all his brothers the Levites do, who stand there before Yahweh. They shall have light portions to eat, in addition to that which comes from the sale of his family possessions. When you have come into the land which Yahweh your God gives you, you shall not learn to imitate the abominations of those nations. There shall not be found with you anyone who makes his son or his daughter to pass through the fire, one who uses divination, 
one who tells fortunes, or an enchanter, or a sorcerer, or a charmer, or someone who consults with a familiar spirit, or a wizard, or a necromancer. For whoever does these things is an abomination to Yahweh. Because of these abominations, Yahweh your God drives them out from before you. You shall be blameless with Yahweh your God. For these nations that you shall dispossess listen to those who practice sorcery and to diviners. But as for you, Yahweh your God has not allowed you to do so. Yahweh your God will raise up to you a prophet from among you, of your brothers, like me. You shall listen to him. This is according to all that you desired of Yahweh your God in Horeb in the day of the assembly, saying, Let me not hear again Yahweh my God's voice, neither let me see this great fire any more, that I not die. Yahweh said to me, They have well said that which they have spoken. I will raise them up a prophet from among their brothers, like you. I will put my words in his mouth, and he shall speak to them all that I shall command him. It shall happen that whoever will not listen to my words, which he shall speak in my name, I will require it of him. But the prophet who speaks a word presumptuously in my name, which I have not commanded him to speak, or who speaks in the name of other gods, that same prophet shall die. You may say in your heart, How shall we know the word which Yahweh has not spoken? When a prophet speaks in Yahweh's name, if the thing doesn't follow nor happen, that is the thing which Yahweh has not spoken. The prophet has spoken it presumptuously. You shall not be afraid of him. Deuteronomy 19 When Yahweh your God cuts off the nations whose land Yahweh your God gives you, and you succeed them and dwell in their cities and in their houses, you shall set apart three cities for yourselves in the middle of your land, which Yahweh your God gives you to possess. You shall prepare the way and divide the borders of your land which Yahweh your God causes you to inherit into three parts, that every manslayer may flee there. This is the case of the manslayer who shall flee there and live. Whoever kills his neighbor unintentionally, and didn't hate him in time past, as when a man goes into the forest with his neighbor to chop wood, and his hand swings the axe to cut down the tree, and the head slips from the handle and hits his neighbor so that he dies. He shall flee to one of these cities and live. Otherwise, the avenger of blood might pursue the manslayer while hot anger is in his heart and overtake him, because the way is long, and strike him mortally, even though he was not worthy of death, because he didn't hate him in time past. Therefore, I command you to set apart three cities for yourselves. If Yahweh your God enlarges your border, as he has sworn to your fathers, and gives you all the land which he promised to give to your fathers, and if you keep all this commandment to do it, which I command you today, to love Yahweh your God, and to walk ever in his ways, then you shall add three cities more for yourselves, in addition to these three. This is so that innocent blood will not be shed in the middle of your land, which Yahweh your God gives you for an inheritance, leaving blood guilt on you. But if any man hates his neighbor, lies in wait for him, rises up against him, strikes him mortally so that he dies and he flees into one of these cities, then the elders of his city shall send and bring him there, and deliver him into the hand of the avenger of blood, that he may die. Your eye shall not pity him, but you shall purge the innocent blood from Israel, that it may go well with you. You shall not remove your neighbor's landmark, which they of old time have set, in your inheritance which you shall inherit, in the land that Yahweh your God gives you to possess. One witness shall not rise up against a man for any iniquity, or for any sin that he sins. At the mouth of two witnesses, or at the mouth of three witnesses, shall a matter be established. If an unrighteous witness rises up against any man to testify against him of wrongdoing, then both the men, between whom the controversy is, shall stand before Yahweh, before the priests and the judges who shall be in those days. And the judges shall make diligent inquisition. And behold, if the witness is a false witness, and has testified falsely against his brother, then you shall do to him as he had thought to do to his brother. So you shall remove the evil from among you. Those who remain shall hear and fear, and will never again commit any such evil among you. Your eyes shall not pity, life for life, eye for eye, tooth for tooth, hand for hand, foot for foot.